everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page six. Page six. So page six is going to be the same as page three. So it, the layout's going to be exactly the same, and I'm, page seven is the same, but it's a mirror image. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is add a flap to the right-hand side. It's four and a half inches, and you're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inches side. There we go. The next piece is this large pocket and it is six and a half by eight. Six and a half by eight. Oops. Just double checking. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides to make a pocket. Okay, here we go. There's a large insert that's going to go into this pocket, and it is two pieces joined together. This is eight and a half by six, eight and a half by six, score a half inch on the eight and a half inch side, and then the panel that you're going to lay on top is six by eight, and that's going to go right inside this pocket. Okay, so I'm going to pull in page seven. So as you can see, we've got a mirror image. This is page seven. This is six. I've already built it out. You don't really need to follow that level of tutorial for the second one, but we are going to add a magnet here together. So I'm going to apply it to this side first and cover it with my 5 8 inch tape. I don't know about you guys, but this time of year, my uh, arthritis really gives me a hard time. My thumb is really bothering me. So I'm struggling with some of the details. Let's see, oh, you can see I didn't get it down far enough. There's the edge of the pocket, so I need to move the tape down. That won't do. It'll be exposed when we add our designer paper. What did I do with it? Here it is. I haven't burnished it down, so hopefully it'll it'll lift easy enough. And it may be that I have to adjust the other side. That might be the right answer. That'll be good. Just gonna put the backing on, and then I'll readjust this. I don't like it when it happens, but it does once in a while. I misjudge. Usually the tape comes up better if you roll it. Okay, let's do that again. Hmm. Even pulling on the tape seems difficult. <laughs> All right, I hope this does it. Feels like it. Yeah, that's gonna give me enough room to cover it with my designer paper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my insert out. And I've made my pattern choices, so I'm gonna pull them in. And this is, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so the, um, I was going to call them lollipops. The uh, candy canes are going to go right here. Ooh, I'm blurry eyed. So it looks like I need to trim that up just a little bit. The red's going to go here. Is that right? I got to think about what I'm doing here, guys. Sorry. I think that's what I was planning. Yeah. So. I need to organize a little bit and trim this piece down, so I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we are on, um, what page are we on? I lost my train of thought. 
page six, page six, page six and seven are going to have the same layout and the same patterns they are going to be mirror images of each other. And they're just like page two and three. Okay, so let's get started. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack or DCE, sorry. <clears throat> There we go. And we're going to put the flip side here. And this is from the 8x8 pack. You can tell the scale is smaller. It's going to go right here in the pocket. Ooh, that made a big mess. Okay. Okay, here is the A side here. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. And then on the inside, we are going, what are we doing? Let's see. We're going to do the small scale dots, 8 by 8 And then we're going to do the uh, 12 by 12 words here. But we're going to lay this piece down first. I thought I'd already trimmed one of these out. But I guess I didn't. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll ink this and lay it in, and then we're going to measure um, what what we need to cover the rest of this, and it'll be a color block. <clears throat> and this is actually going on the flap. Okay, now I'm going to trim out a piece of red and let's see what we need. I'm going to rough cut real quick and then trim it down. So let me get a three inch sliver and then we're going to mark it. <clears throat> okay. So this is from the 12 by 12, obviously. You can see that it far exceeds the length of the page. I'm going to mark it on the top too before I put it in the trimmer. There we go. Now a little bit of ink. Put this in. A pretty collection. I like it. It's very holiday, even though it's not necessarily Christmas. Fun for the kiddos. Okay, there we go. Now there's a large insert that's going to go in here. It is. So this is a finished um, six by eight 
six by eight, and you make this by joining um, an eight and a half by six with an eight by six. And that's gonna go in this pocket. Now I haven't chosen the design papers for this yet. I need to get through a couple more pages and then I'll see what I have left over. We may do some color blocking here, probably do some color blocking here. Okay, so that's page six. I went ahead and did page seven. It's exactly the same with the insert. So we'll come back to this and do the inserts in a little bit. Okay, everyone, I have made some changes here and I wanna share with you, I went ahead and um, completed this. I decided after looking at it and trimming it out that I wanted to make the top a half inch smaller just to make it more obvious that this opens up and that it's a bifold inside the pocket. So I did both um, the left and right in the same pattern. And then the last thing we're going to do is add this um, element to the cover. This is one of the cut aparts, which I trimmed down. It had a frame and a frame, and I trimmed it down twice. And I don't know what I did with the other one. The other one is the ballerina, <laughs> and she's missing. But at the moment, we can go ahead and add this. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other ones, where I'm going to center it top to bottom and then center the ephemera right on that um, flap line. If I'm going to cut apart, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. And then the last thing I'll need to do is put um, a little bit of paper on the back side of this so that when it's in the open position, um, it's not just a bunch of black. Okay, there we go. And now I need to find the other one that I cut apart. I'm going to be right with you guys. What did I do with it? Shoot, I'm not sure what I did with it. Did I close it inside the flap? It looks kind of like this, but not quite. So I guess I need to pause and, and uh, figure out what I did with that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I was stuck with some of my scraps, which is really easy to do. Okay, we'll add this. It's pretty straight, pretty straight. Okay, I need a second to find um, about an inch and a half wide piece of paper that can cover the back sides of these cut aparts. Okay, I went through my scraps and I found enough of this um, red stripe paper that I'm going to add it right here on both sides. Cute. Okay, there we go. And then one more on this side. 38, ready to go. Okay. I think it fits better the other way. I can try it. I think I cut it at a slight angle. Yep, I did, because it didn't fit perfectly. So there's a slight angle there, and that's it. There we go. Page six and seven, six and seven. Okay, I'll be back soon.